Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another Transformers review. As you can see uh, for this review I'm doing another one of the Star Wars crossovers. Now to anyone familiar with the Star Wars films you'll immediately know that this is the TIE Bomber and it's I believe first appeared in Empire Strikes Back. I don't think they were in uh, Star Wars as such the first film. Um, it of course comes with a set of instructions which are pretty much standard sort of fare for these one-sided printed instructions. Uh, accessory wise he does come with a weapon and a launching missile but I'll show you that in a minute. But I'll quickly sort of let you have a look around the actual TIE Bombers sort of like version. It's TIE Bomber mode. Um, it's a pretty well detailed and pretty good representation of actually the original uh, movie toy. Um, nicely moulded in, sort of like the same sort of colour paint apps as the original sort of toys would have had. Um, although I don't believe they ever made this in a full size toy in the original uh, Star Wars line. Um, this guy, as far as I can tell, I mean, because I picked this up second hand, didn't come with the actual little TIE pilot figure, which a lot of the crossovers do have. And it doesn't show him on the instructions either, so maybe this is one they never bothered to include a little figure with. But uh, yeah, pretty good representation. Love all the detail around the cockpit and that. Really nicely done. And all the sort of mechanical details the inside of the solar panels on the sides, and that's all detailed as well. So, really good, really nice uh, vehicle mode. Now, as I say, it does come with a launching missile, and to launch it, it is pre sprung loaded where it's in. You just need to touch the back of the missile and sort of push it upwards, and it fires off quite nicely sprung. And the launcher itself is just pegged into a small hole underneath, and that is about as basic a little launcher as you're going to get. But yeah, not bad, it still actually works. It relies on a notch on the missile. Actually, if I show you that pushed in, you push it in and the notch just sort of connects. If I bring that in tighter, it just connects on the back of the launcher like so. So by pushing it down, you're just releasing it to launch it forward. So pretty basic, but yeah, it works. And it does sort of form in that mode, a uh, little hand weapon though, of course you've got to be careful putting it in his hand because if you touch the back of that it fires off and it probably is one of those ones that will get lost quite easy the way it fires off. Anyway, putting that to one side, to transform the figure it's uh, quite simple, you just need to release the front sections on the two main fuselage fuselage halves of the toy bomber and you've got to push round I'm trying to think which way that goes push round oh another thing what the Star Wars one's famous for is popping off parts all goes back on okay just got to push it back in the hole push down on the top and flick the top over and his head pops up which is facing the wrong way but that's all correct, that's what it's supposed to be. Now you've got to unclip those for that to have clearance, and that's what I was trying to do when that popped off. Now, the next part you do with that, while it's in that sort of position, is fold like the blank bomber side over behind him, behind his head, and that just sort of sits in position. And then you've got to move the cockpit view screen side over the top of that. Now they don't really sort of clip together as such with any sort of like locking pins or anything, it just sort of sits there, which is a bit half-hearted, but it stays there, so I suppose that's as good as you want. Now looking at it from the back end, where you get the turbine parts of the engine, you want to unclip the side panels, which are just pegged on to the sides of the engines and just sort of release them out of the way. You've then got to pull back, <laughs> and again, famous for popping off on these toys. Again, it's just a peg fitting, so you just need to push it back on, if it will go. There you go. Pull back on these sections, and you, 
that is one thing I'd actually say if you're looking at picking up any of these Star Wars crossovers second hand you will often see limbs where they've come off they do reattach um, but obviously you want to try and pick ones up that are complete but once you've pulled these parts back and reattached them you then need to swing these black sections around and let them connect and they connect via two blue pegs on the two holes there connect them together and they clip together nice and firmly you can now pretty much see the basis of the figure you then need to open the end of the engine and flip out the foot and then the rear section of that engine there just flips around to the back and that's it so do the same on this side flip it open bring the foot out turn it round flip that up and that is his legs done so you can stand up now arms and shoulders are pretty rudimentary you just need to lift up these little panels on the top of his shoulders which releases the arms so that they can turn down to the side and then move down like so and the other thing to point out as well is at the same time is you've got a peg underneath the arm you just need to push that forward as you would on say like all of the G1s and just bring his hand out like so now the only thing I would say with these and it is a strange thing because I'll just move that down on this figure I would say the hands are, have been fitted wrong when they was in the factory now you can release these panels off the arms as well because they're pegged on but this guy appears to have two right hands now if I move in you can see on the right hand there you've got the uh, thumb in the right place but if you look on this side you've got a thumb the wrong way up so you've got two right hands so that's a bit of a mistake um, I think I've got a junker of this guy which I picked up from a boot there and I'll have to check him out and see if I can repair that and sort that out but anyway that is your basic figure and as I said you've got the weapon there and you can put that in his fist if you got them the right way around like so and again missile pops out but what they also show with this weapon is that you can peg it into the fist and even though it's the wrong way around you can have it as a club as well so overall not a bad figure not the greatest of the Star Wars line but not bad at all so yeah worth picking up if you find him cheap but I wouldn't go out of my way to spend a fortune on these um, they're not quite worth the sort of 15 20 pound that they sort of like usually go for new but yeah well worth picking up if you find one sheet okay so that's the toy pilot toy bomber transformer crossover I uh, hope you've enjoyed the little review please feel free to subscribe or comment and I shall see you again for another Transformers review thanks for watching